Hello everyone and welcome to Ashen. I saw one episode of this game played by Fighting Cowboy and I fell in love with it and just decided not to watch anymore because I wanted to play it myself and that was when it came out back in I think December of last year so I've kept myself pure so let's get in it and I did play the same portion I saw him play just so I could get <clears throat> familiar with the um, the controls and stuff but uh, that was last week so I don't really remember much as soon as my dog gets settled we'll do character customization um, What, Ella? I am. What was the one I used? Uh. No, that looks because guys don't have a face, so it makes it look weird. You need something. All right, Firebrand and I did Firebrand last time, I think, and Hunter. No, Cavalier. <laughs> he looks like a pizzeria man. Hair color black, skin color, yeah, well, I like the contrast. Let's go. He looks like a pizza man. A pizza man? All right, let's be quiet. We're gonna watch the video. stars the ashen fly beneath the nine realms move among the tree of worlds many branches proudly standing upon the darkness its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture it was when a single great ashen flew down to rest upon her bows, that the light woke among the realms. After eons, the great ashen grew weak with age and fell from the tree of worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness, drawing what few breaths remained. In the throes of death, the light dimmed, and the Ashen's final three breaths became the three golden ages of light. The first age saw three creatures of the Dark Plains rise above all others. The Elder Dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the listener matriarchs, titans who revered the light. The third breath was the age of man, Geffen's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness. In that black age, the cities of man fell into ruin toppled by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. Proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. From dust to flesh, from darkness to radiance, soon the Ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body and a new age of light will begin. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light, even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak, for that is where fresh hope blooms. The 
passion is reborn. Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these plains. Alright, got my guy with his club. I love that story. The cliffs ahead should provide a good vantage point. Beware, the rebirth of the Ashen will be violent. Violent. Circle is dodge. Square is use. That's right. I want R2 heavy. I have a shield right now. Get the light, hide it, keep it, save it. You would be what we call in our world today uh, crazy. I like how it shows the. I like how it shows it. <clears throat> then it goes down. The stats are different. Oh, and there's a jump too, right? Is it a triangle? Yeah, a triangle. Okay. I like how it's conveniently positioned. We're going to go down there anyway, but I missed this jump the first time because I tried to press X. The Raffets know. Devon has the ears, you see. Raffets. Keep your mitts off me, Rock. Oh, please don't touch my rock. It's a sacred rock. I love it. Um. Apple cricket. Creases, stamina regen. Stamina. Bring. Oh, okay. Well, so that one in the top left corner that must be my currency. Oh. Well, it's pointless. that thrive in perpetual night and would extinguish these fledgling rays. We must find the Ashen and protect it from the Elder Dark. The Elder Dark.
Ashen. I think this game's gonna be a lot of fun. Get up, you sloth. I don't care if you just fell 20 feet. I do like a dedicated jump button, though. I almost missed to some loots. White sapote. Sapote? Sapote? What a sight. Our world once more bathed in ashen light. Your you poet didn't know it. The power of the ashen and survived. We will need that strength of yours. The ashen is still a sleeping child. Vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. Before we begin our journey, we must bind your spirit to a ritual stone. If misadventure takes you, the stone will act as a beacon from beyond death's veil. There's a ritual stone nearby in the district called Vagrant's Rest. But I will need my hammer and spark to awaken it. You must find them. Why did you lose them? I was gonna dodge that. Oh. No. No. Ella, I said no. Oh, no. Not quick enough, Junior. My currency. L one is blocked. That's why I just came from. Oh, missed something though. Oh, 
three of you. Oh. Guess that's what that shield bash does. Kind of a cool animation. Just me and you, boy. Oh, God. Oh, hold X to give up. Oh, jeez. In a minute, bud. Go play. Go play. I told you, just a few minutes. Go play. I cannot swim in deep water. Okay, got it. Is that metaphorical, like, don't fight four enemies at once? Uh, what is going on here? All right. I guess we will. Oh, I didn't realize that <clears throat> I lost the help of my dude when I ran off that way. Yeah. I can't believe I beat those four guys down and got him down to that last bit of health and then died. That was kind of crap. I mean, crap on my part. Crap that I couldn't close the deal. Would have had this made probably some made some difference. Oh, frame animation. Oh, 
one hit. Look at the stinking damage. I know from playing this earlier, this is not the way to the spark, but... Okay, now this is an entirely different area. Okay. And that's how you know, because... Yeah, my partner didn't come with me. He said, you're on your own, brother. Right. I'm only strong enough to smush clay pots. A quick climb? All right. Look at him. He said, I'm, I go no further. I go no further. So I don't know how long he stays with you throughout the game, but if he stays with you, that'll be a pretty cool way to indicate that you know you're going the right way or the wrong way or whatever as opposed to the actual Souls games. But, you know, they had theirs too. Um, they had theirs too, you know, difficulty and you just had to pay attention to that stuff. You know, if you went a direction and hit some enemy with everything you had and it just barely tickled him, obviously, you're going the wrong way. I get that. This is a little more obvious for the numb skulls like me. Got you. He looks kind of like a Johan. That's what we'll call him. Let's try this. got up in the trap. Spear go. Get off the blinds, guys. Charlie, I just said get off the blinds and then you went right and did that. Shut him. Just leave the blinds alone, please. No. Oh. Well, let's just grab and see what that is.
Oh, it's where I died. Oh, I was in the entirely wrong area. I was in a whole other area called Placid Lake. I've got seven of these remaining. See, I played through this little Vagrant's Rest part before I may die here. Let's see what kind of damage he does. Oh, no, that's all right. But... All right, let's just grab the the hammer and the spark before we go exploring too much because <clears throat> I'm getting my scoria up here and do not pick on my Johan. He is my Johan. Cannot swim in deep water. That looks like deep water. So when I played this before, somebody dropped a big old weapon. Maybe that was just... You know, like the random drops or whatever. RNG or of the drops. I see you, you one-armed titan lover. Maybe it was that two-handed great hammer thing. Give me my hammer, so I might awaken this sleep touch the spark to the ritual stone. Bind your spirit to this place. <clears throat> I think the animations in this game are so cool. Speak to Bataran. Jokel has joined your team. I have searched these foothills and found no sign of the Ashen. We must consult Gethin of the Birthing Waters. She will know where to look. Gethin can be found bathing within the Annex of Light. Bridge the waters and strike out for the cliffs. There lies your way in. Bridge the waters. Geffen gave birth to humanity in the third golden age. We are but wide-eyed children, begging for the wisdom of an ancient mother. Do you dream? In my sleep, I hear my brother's voice. He once traveled this way with my father. 
I wasn't with them. Ahu was eldest, so it was his duty alone. Now he echoes through my slumber, calling to me. Each time is the same. He stands atop an old listener ruin, calling to me. I have found the ruin by the lakeside. Will you help me climb it? My father and brother never returned from their journey. Yes, we will climb it. Is this the whole world? Surely not. Oh no. We're going to travel a long way, ladies and gentlemen. While only a part-time YouTuber, I'm going to try my best that we travel that whole way together. So, wait, that's that. So, to the Wandering Lake, climb the lakeside ruin to discover the mystery behind Joe Kell's dream. So, okay, so the yellow is tracked, the white is available. Go call, I'll go call my friend, you go call your friend. Um, all right, we're going to do Joe Kell's side journey. <coughs> Uh, in the next episode because I want to know what happened to his father and his brother. So I appreciate you guys coming along on this journey. I really, really appreciate it. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to do this whole thing with you guys, not do anything off air because uh, this game has basically everything I like. It's made in a soul's vein. The animation, the already compelling story, I hope it doesn't lose momentum. So we'll see how it goes. See you guys next time.